it's Lindsay here with Pilates On Demand. Today we're gonna hit a challenging wall Pilates core workout for the abs. This is going to be an intermediate advanced class. I'm not gonna give any breaks and I want you to already have a really good idea of form because we're gonna be doing lots of crunches and some planks at the end to really fire it up. So all you're gonna need is a mat to pad your back and some clear wall space, not too much, maybe like a foot. So we're gonna get right into it. So I just want you to lay on your back. You're about a shin's distance away from the wall. And you'll place your feet on the wall, hips distance, and parallel. Okay, so first off, I want you to really try to draw your abs in and have no space between your back and the mat. Arms are gonna come straight and strong by your sides with your fingers glued together, palms in. So you're gonna take an inhale into your ribs, open the arms out to a T. And then as you exhale, pull the ribs together and bring the hands into the waist like you're giving yourself a hug. So let's do two more of those to establish the breath. Inhale into the ribs, arms open. Exhale, close the ribs, arms close. One more time. Inhale, ribs expand, yet the belly stays drawn in. Exhale, the ribs come together right at that midline and the belly pulls in even deeper. So let's add the movement to it where we curl up. So here we go, inhale, rib cage. Exhale, the ribs knit together and we curl up. <sighs> inhale, lower down, arms open. Exhale, through the mouth, curl up. <sighs> inhale to lower, through the nose. Exhale to lift, through the mouth. Good. When you breathe out through your mouth, try to do it with an open mouth and soft lips so that we're not straining the neck at all. As you exhale, I want you to think of trying to fog a mirror. You guys got it. If you happen to have any issues or pain in your neck, then put your hands behind your head. And as we're working into the breath, as we start class, each and every exhale is gonna help you draw those abs in a little bit deeper. So that's why the breath is important. We wanna be careful when we inhale that we don't puff the belly up. So when we're working the deep layer of these abs, we wanna draw inwards, think of a cinching action, rather than when we curl up, we're not able to pull those abs in and they puff out. So just be careful of that. Think about your muscles. You can even look at your belly, see what's happening. Okay, we're gonna add on here. So as you curl up, you're gonna bring your right leg to tabletop. Place the right foot back on the wall, lower down, and then left leg to tabletop. Place the left foot back on the wall, lower down. Now both legs. When the feet touch the wall, make sure the low back doesn't leave the floor. Single, single, double. To the right, we curl up. Take it down. To the left, we curl up. Take it down. And then both feet lift and we curl. So throughout this whole class, as you curl up, that's gonna be your exhale. And you, as you lower down, that's gonna be your inhale no matter what variation we are on. Good, breathing out. Breathing in. Now what this should look like in your back is that it's not your head that's leaving the floor, but it's those shoulder blades. So make sure when you lift, it's not your chin coming towards your chest, but it is your upper back leaving the mat. Single, single, and double. Let's go one more time through that. And take that to the right. Take that to the left. And then take that to both. Good work, feet to the wall, hands behind the head. So relax the head and the hands. We're gonna have a little support now for that neck. We're gonna curl up for a double crunch. Legs come right up to tabletop. Pull the navel in. Then set the feet on the wall and lower the head down. Exhale, belly button meets the floor. Hold the abdominals into the floor. 
as you set the feet back down. So one thing I see a lot that happens in the core work is like when we crunch up, we're working really hard, and then when we lower down, we just kind of let it all go. But you're losing 50% of the exercise there. So when you release the curl, I want you to really try to resist your own body weight. That's gonna help you get even stronger in those abs. <sighs> Honestly, when I release, I go even slower than when I curl up. Okay, we're gonna add a little twist. So now we're gonna take this to the right. So curl your chest to the right, both legs to tabletop. See that my shoulders are off the mat and then rest the head, rest the feet. Let's stay to the right. So we're working into those obliques, curling up and over to the right, shoulder blades off the mat, and then we lower down with that slow pace. Then making sure when we twist, it's not so much a twist that we fall over to that right shoulder, towards the one we're twisting towards. So I don't want it to look like this, like we're resting on the right shoulder. Yeah, it's better to twist a little less and get up. Nice work. Let's take three more on this side. And then just check on your hands. Make sure your hands aren't forcing your head up. Your head's pressing back into your hands as your hands press into your head to create a little bit of a cradle. Last one. Okay, let's take this over to the left. So we're curling up and over the legs to the left. See how I'm not resting on my left shoulder, it's up. And then we lower down. And so core work is one of those things that no matter how strong you get, the simplest of exercises can still be really valuable. So if this isn't feeling too hard, I want you to work harder mentally and think about what's lifting you up and where you're drawing from. So sometimes it really helps to close your eyes, picture your stomach muscles, go nice and deep and pull them in. Because there's really two things happen happening here. It's the one that you can see and it's two that's a lot harder to see. It's the drawing inwards, the sucking in of the stomach muscles. That's got to occur in order to get those abs nice and strong. Let's go three more, guys. For three, we start to feel our core. <laughs> and two. Okay, last one. And one. Okay, the next one I'm gonna call an advanced crunch. The arms are overhead by the ears like a picture frame. So this adds a lot of more weight for the abs to lift up. So try to keep the arms back as we exhale, curl up. Inhale, lower down. So to start, let's just keep the feet where they're at. Lead with your chest. Okay, try not to swing the arms forward to lift. Good work. Good, so hinging from your waistline. That's where we're moving from. I'm trying to pick my upper body up from my abs. See if you can move those arms an inch back at the top. I know that's a little evil. <laughs> Good work, guys. Let's do three more. For three. And two. Last one, hold it up for me. Now at the top, feet come off the wall. They come back to the wall and then we lower down. So it's four parts. Curl up, hold the curl, feet up, feet down, and lower down. Really try to have energy through those arms so we're not like hanging out like this. So straighten those elbows. We curl, feet up, feet down, we lower. We got four more. Lift, feet, lower, and down. Okay, last one, then we're gonna slightly change positions. 
nicely done. So we're gonna hit some straight legs now. So feet are about hips distance apart. You can have the feet planted or toes on the wall. And we're gonna bring our hands behind our head to support our neck. Okay, let's start with this left leg. So relax your head in your hands. The left leg comes off the wall as you curl up. Now as you lower the leg back to the wall, make sure there's no gap that's created between the low back and the mat. Same side. Okay, I'm gonna add a little extra pulse at the top. So curl up, hold, lift up an inch higher, and then lower down. Okay, so we're making this a little harder. Curl up, come up a little higher, you got it. Lift, 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 and lower down. Okay, don't rush the pulse. Curl up, lift, squeeze those abs down to the mat, and lower. Are we starting to shake? That's a good sign. Curl up, lift, 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 and lower. So that extra little pulse, I want you to think of contracting your abs down more to get up higher. Okay, three more on this side. I guess three is my lucky number today. <laughs> but that's a Joseph Pilates number, so it works. And two. Good, last one. Curl up, little extra lift. We lower down. Okay, we're gonna go three without the extra crunch to the right. Curl up and lower down. Okay, on this one, stay up there. Give me that little extra curl and lower down. So this is what I do not wanna see. When we're curling up and we're sustaining this, you're pushing yourself up forcefully. That's not a pulse. That's not using your muscles. That's using energy. That's using a lot of momentum. Yeah, we want, that's using, that's exerting energy out of the body. We want to pull it in. I just got back from Italy, actually, literally last night, and I missed filming so much. So I'm here with you guys today. <laughs> all happy from all the cheese and meat and wine that I consumed. <laughs> Let's go for four more. Curl up, abs down, give me that lift of those shoulders and lower back to the mat. <sighs> Nicely done, last two. How we feeling? Okay, last one. Okay, we're gonna go single, double on the diagonal. So we're gonna curl over to the left and the left leg's going to lift. Lower back down, curl to the left again. Both legs lift. Lower back down, back to single. Left leg lifts, curl left. Lower down, both legs lift, curl left. The both is really challenging, so if that's too hard for you, stick with the single. If your back pops up, that means it's too hard for you. You have to be able to keep the abs drawing in and filling up that low back. So if you're doing something and you're not able to keep the form, that means you need to take a little bit of a modification until you're able to find the alignment. That's the only way you're gonna get stronger. If you're doing it and not able to hold the form, you're not gonna get stronger. That's not to be negative, that's being just honest because I want you to get stronger. So you gotta be honest with yourself, where you're at. And you know, some days we feel really strong and we're able to hold those strong poses. Some days we're just not and that's okay. So just listen to your body. That's how we stay safe and injury free. <laughs> the last one. Okay, we're gonna take this to the right. So the right leg's gonna lift as we curl right. Lower down and left leg, both legs lift as we curl right. See how there's no air pocket? That's the important part. Curl right, right leg lift. Lower down, curl right, both leg lift. Lower down. 
Okay, and we had that set up earlier for when we go into those twisted crunches that we're not falling over onto the shoulder that we're turning towards. Good, what do you say we do? Two more passes through this. Curl right, single leg. Curl right, double leg. And then both, one more time through. Curl right, single leg. Curl left, both legs. Good job. Okay, we're gonna come into hundreds. When the feet are on the wall, that's gonna be the exhalation, so long arms. We curl up, reach those arms really long to pull the shoulders off the neck, start to pump down with the fingers sealed. Come up an inch higher, find the working zone. Feet are on the wall, abs pull down. Exhale, two, three, four, five feet up. Inhale, two, three, four, five feet down. Push into the wall to pull the abs to the mat. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Good work. Exhale into the core. Two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Halfway. Breathe out. Hug those abdominals down into the floor. Breathe in. Four more sets. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. We got this. Breathe out. Breathe in. Sounds like this. Last set. And release. Oh, there's nothing like hundreds after a European vacation. Okay, rock that neck out right and left. We're gonna slide close into the wall now. So scooch close, you could be like an inch off, but you wanna be pretty close. And then the legs are gonna be at a V. Okay, we're basically climbing up the wall. Keep your hips pretty still. Hands are gonna come through the legs. I want you to touch the wall and then walk up as high as you can and then slowly walk it back down. I'm gonna scoot in a little more. Okay, curling up. Low back is heavy. Walk, 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 walk up. Walk it back down. If your neck is good, this is gonna be your stop zone every time. You're not gonna rest all the way down. We're gonna stay a little bit more into it. Walk it up and walk it down. When you walk it up, try to keep your tush heavy, so don't let your butt lift off the floor. Okay, we're gonna do five more for five. Okay, think of those shoulders lifting you up. Four. Three. Walking it up the wall. We're literally climbing our tree. Two. Last one. One. No breaks. Take this to the right leg. Climb up the right leg. Climb down the right leg. Staying to the right. Twist that chest. Heavy the left hip. Climb up. Climb down. So you're going as high as you can without momentum. So none of that. Climb up. Climb down. You got it. Remember, you can take the modification by going all the way down. Pull those abs in. Okay, give me three more, then we're gonna take it to the left. Climb it up. Climb it down. Are we sweating or what? <laughs> in two. Good, last one. Okay, don't rest for me. Stay lifted. Hands left, heavy right hip. Climb up that left leg. Climb down. Climb up. Climb down. Awesome. Okay, when things start to fatigue, check your form and make sure you're pulling your abs in. I know I say these things on repeat, but it's a, there's a reason I do that, because when things do start to fatigue, the shoulders get involved and the abs stop working. So you have to keep telling your body where to work from. Okay, give me four more. And we have one last crunch move, and then we're into our planks. And three. And two. Woo, I'm feeling the belly. Last one. 
Stay up there. Come to center and I want you to give me little pulses. Try to tap the wall and exhale. <sighs> Breathe out for me through the mouth. Get off those shoulder blades. Okay, make it really small. Keep it high. Let's go. Shut your eyes. Focus on your form. If you need neck support, put a hand behind your head. You got this. Glue that stomach to the mat. Try not to let those legs move too much. Up and up. Can we reach a little higher? So you know exactly where you're reaching. On the wall, reach a little higher. Let's go for 10, 9, keep it high, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo! Okay, so flip it around. Abs are very aware and engaged right now. So I want you to maintain this cinched feeling. So not lengthening the abdominal wall, but keeping that contraction when we're in our plank. Heels on the wall, forearm plank. If you can, palms up, elbows underneath the shoulders. Toes on the floor, heels on the wall, find your plank. Now imagine you're doing an abdominal crunch. The rib cage and the hip bones are coming together, so your lower and upper abs are tightening. It should feel like your toes and elbows are pulling towards each other. Okay, so crunch your core even in this position. Push out of your arms, lift off the ground. Okay, I want you to breathe and I want you to work into your abs. So you could just hold this position or you could really effort through the position and that's what I want you to do so that you get more out of it. Drag your forearms back, pull your toes forward. Okay, lift up through the rib cage. You got this. If this is not comfortable, you can go palms down and feel that pulling sensation here. Okay, so whatever works for you, I'm totally fine with. Make sure, if anything, your butt's a little higher, not sagging. That's going to pinch that low back. Okay, tucking the pelvis under. Let's find that shake. Hold for 10, 9, go for it. Cinch that waist. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. We're not going to drop down on 1. Press up onto your hand. Okay, we're coming into our oblique planks. Turn your toes right. And almost think of turning your chest left. So I want that chest facing the floor. So what we're gonna do is a tiny little tuck of the hips and a rounding of the spine and then lengthen back out. Little tuck, we're squeezing that left oblique, lengthen out. So what we're not doing is a pike or a down dog of the hips. It's more so like you're trying to do that angry cat shape in this position and we're squeezing the left ribs and the right hip together. We're gonna give me four more for four. We're not taking any breaks till the end of class, so don't drop out of it. Three, you got it. Two, last one, one. Okay, left hand underneath the shoulder, open the chest to the right wall, reach that right arm up. We're gonna thread the needle, pike the hips, lower the hips just a little, and reach the arm up. Thread the needle, pike. Lower down. So really push your feet into the wall to get those hips up. You got it. We're here for five. Hello, left oblique. Four. Three. Two. One more move coming up. One. Okay, reach your right arm up. You're gonna step your right leg back. Pulse your hips up and down. Step it forward. Pulse your hips up and down. Step back, down, squeeze up. Step front, down, squeeze up. Six more. We've got six. Okay, squeeze up through that bottom oblique. And four. For three. And two. Last one. Turn back into your hand plank. Facing the ground, pivot your toes to face the left wall. Don't you quit on me, we're so close. Okay, so chest faces the floor, hips face the left wall. We're going to tuck the hips under and squeeze that right oblique, and then lengthen out. You have a better view of it on this side, I'm sure. So I'm protracting.
contracting those shoulder blades, meaning they spread apart. And I'm scooping my abs up and underneath that rib cage as I pike up, using a strong exhalation as I round the spine. You got it, four more. Four, you know where we're going from here to finish the workout. Three, two, last one. Right hand stays underneath the right shoulder. Turn to the left wall, reach the left arm up, push your feet into the wall. Do not let your legs get lazy and drop that bottom hip. Okay, reach the left arm under, lift the hips up, and then reach it up. Okay, big arc through that bottom oblique. You guys got six more, and we're into our last move. How does that sound? For five, and four. Woo, we're strong, we got this, thumbs up. Three, and two, last one, one, reach that left arm up, step the left leg back, drop the hip down, lift it up, step it forward, drop it down, lift it up, step it back. So we're doing a little walking plank. <laughs> okay, we got six more right here. We're here for six. And five, give me big lifts. Finishing strong, four, three, here we go, two, and one. Woo! Oh my gosh. Do you ever feel like, what did I get myself into? That might be one of these workouts. You did amazing. Definitely got it fired up there at the end. <laughs> Let's take a quick stretch, cool it down, let that heart rate come down, let the sweat. I always feel like I sweat actually more when I stop, so maybe the sweat's gonna start to flow. So we'll see what happens. So let's do cat cows to stretch out those abs. So the area we're gonna focus on is the arch. So this is more of the cow shapes. So you're gonna send your sits bones up, spread them apart, and pull your chest through your arms. We're in a nice big back bend here. And then as you exhale, we're rounding out that back and stretching the shoulder blades apart. Inhale, sits bones lift and spread, heart opens up to the ceiling. And then exhale, we curl it back the other direction. Let's do two more times. Inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. And then walk it up. One thing I hear a lot is hip flexors get tight. So let's go for a hip flexor stretch here. So let's step that right foot forward. Hands will come inside the right foot. And then I just want you to check that your back knee points down. So it should not look like that. I know that's such a minor adjustment, but the knee should really point directly to the floor. Those little adjustments are really what make the exercise or the stretch. So it's important to pay attention to those small cues, even if you do think you're doing it right. See how right you're doing it? <laughs> That's the only way that you'll improve. Oh, that feels nice, huh? Okay, so let's switch that up. So we'll just step that left foot forward. Okay, and then that right knee. So we wanna make sure it's not turning out at all. I'm gonna angle it straight down. Toes can be tucked or untucked, depending on your preference. And I'm just letting my hips release. So I'm not working this too much here. Hope we set you up for a good day today. <laughs> good, and then let's step it on in. And let's just take a seat for a second. And I love to do a side bend to open up those obliques. So we're gonna take this right hand out to the right and stretch that left arm overhead. And I want you to touch the left wall. Reach for it, or the right wall rather. Ah, oh, that feels good. Good, and then roll it up. Now point those left fingers out to the left, reach the right arm overhead, and try to touch the left wall. Lean back in space. This side's a little tighter. 
that feels like it needed to be stretched. And then roll it up. And let's just take a gentle twist. So left hand to the right knee. Right hand's gonna sit on the floor behind you. You're gonna turn through the waistline. And try to sit up tall. And then release. Right hand, left knee, left hand on the floor behind you. Turn through your waist and lift. Good, and then release. I hope that you guys enjoyed this challenging core wall Pilates workout. It was just under 30 minutes. And at the end, I definitely got my heart rate up. I don't know about you, so you'll have to let me know in the comments. So I hope you guys had a great time with this workout. Please subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free. It just lets you know when I have a new video come out, which I'm sure after this workout you want to know. And like, subscribe, share with your friends, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.